Hello guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, so uh, I've not been posting of late, been busy here and there. But uh, now that we've come back, expect more videos. So let's get into it. Uh, let's look at family members and how we call different family members in Bukusu. Um, let's start with the ones that we know, father, mother, sister, brother. I guess those are the closest to us. So when we come to father, uh, we call father Papa. Papa in Bukusu. Papa is pronounced with a pause between the syllables. Uh, so we have pa and pa. So it's papa, papa, papa. So as much as it looks like uh, a quick word, papa, but in the Bukusu language, it's pronounced more as a, a smooth transition from one syllable to another. So it's pa pa. Mother, uh, when you come to the mother, we call the mother my my. So your mother, you call her my my sister. We first use the term that is used to show a sibling. That is yaya, yaya. So there's a pause between the two, although the word is written as yaya, yaya. Because she's female or she's a girl, we say yaya omuhana, yaya omuhana, meaning a sibling who is female. We can also use the words wandaye wasihasi, wandaye wasihasi. Just shows that uh, it is a sibling who is a girl, and mostly it's used by a person who is describing your sister. Someone who is talking about your sister will say wandaye wasihasi. Brother, yaya omsoreli, yaya omsoreli. Again, yaya refers to the sibling. Omsoreli means a boy or male. So, when you are talking about your own brother, you say, Yaya Omsoreli. When someone else is talking about your brother, they will refer to them as Wandaye Wasisecha, meaning his or her brother. So, Wandaye means sibling who is male. So, Wandaye Wasisecha, someone else referring to your brother, and Yaya Omsoreli, when you are the one referring to your own brother. Then let's move on to the extended family. And in the extended family, we find grandmother. Grandmother, the term used is kuhu. Kuhu. So if you have difficulty pronouncing the, the syllables here, you can refer back to my video on pronunciation of different sounds. And that will help you pronounce this word. So it's kuhu. Grandfather, Kuka, Kuka, that's simple enough. Aunt, Aunt, and I, you can see I've repeated Aunt and Uncle, and I've specified why I've repeated that. Aunt, who is a sister to your father, you refer to them as Senge, Senge. Uncle, who is the brother to your mother, brother to your mother, Hocha. Hocha. So it's both aunt and uncle, but the relationship with your mother or your father is what determines how you call them. Then we have the aunt who is the sister to your mother. My, my. So if uh, briefly, if you can allow me to go back, my is the term that we use to call your own mother. And therefore your aunt who is the sister to your mother is also your mother. So we call them my uncle, brother to your father. Again, papa, papa. Let us go back. Papa is the term that you use to call your own father. And therefore, your uncle, who is the brother to your father, is all papa. So uh, watch out for this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, are trying to familiarize with the language 
uh, theologies yet still referring to a relation that is basically the same, uncle and aunt, but as you can see, the distinction refers to how your mother or father is related to the person. Uh, moving on, we have in-laws. So in law, the term in law, we use one simple word, omuhwe. So this term here, omuhwe. Just once you hear that, it means that that person that you are looking at or the person that they are talking about is an in-law. So let us start with the daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law, omuhana, omumasala. Omuhana, omumasala. That is a daughter-in-law, meaning that uh, someone married to your son, the, the girl married to your son. Mother-in-law, mai omumasala. Mai omumasala, that refers to mother-in-law. Or you can just find others referring to them as mai omuhwe. Mai omuhwe. So find those two terms used to refer to mother-in-law. Then father-in-law, papa omumasala. Papa omumasala. Then papa omuhwe is also a terminology used. So papa and mai, we have already discussed that, just means mother, mai. Papa means father, which is common enough. Omuhana means a girl. So omuhana and um masala, as you have seen it running through, just refers to a person who is an in-law. So um, I guess, uh, guys, that's it for today. Um, I want to keep it short and simple so that uh, you can enjoy and at the same time have something that you remember in the video. So <laughs> please, guys, uh, comment, like, share, and subscribe. And keep watch since we'll be posting new videos about topics that you have asked me to discuss about. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>